saying, hey, Bao, is this you? And then they DM your actual Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> and I, I spawned before because what they do is they uh, they start adding myself. Like a fake Alex would always add myself. And I'm like, it's over, but the name is still some freaking messed up name from Nigeria or or wherever else, right? And then uh, then change the name over. So you guys got to be smart, man. I mean, if you lose money, count it as a learning experience. And that's like the stock market, man. You got to be, be better with your due diligence. Okay, guys? Yep. All right, let's start on this. Uh, today, oh, what can we say, man? We, we, well, before start we start about, let me talk about the meetup coming up, guys. So yep. we're throwing, again, our free event in Utah, August 19th, 21. It's going to be on myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. While others charge thousands and thousands of dollars for their events, we throw our events for free. You don't have to be an MIC member to attend. All you have to do is go to myinvestingclub.com slash meetup, register. It takes less than one minute to register. And then you get to meet me, Bao, the entire MIC team, and traders from all around the world, man. Yep. So make sure you attend because uh, this only happens once a year. This is actually a, our fourth anniversary. So that's why we're doing this, guys. Um, uh, it's completely free. You do not have to be a member to attend. We chose Utah because Utah is pretty freaking awesome, man. We were there early in the year. The weather is nice. Uh, it's just really cool place, man. Something very different than Las Vegas. Yeah. I'm so sick of Las Vegas. You know, everyone's going to Las Vegas. Everybody gets drunk. So the intention is for you to meet people, not necessarily a party. We're not here to get drunk by any means. Uh, we're here to have fun, but, you know. And so we were trying something new, guys. <laughs> I don't want to get drunk every freaking meetup and <laughs> pass out. I don't remember anything. So, um, but we may throw a raffle if you want to get take shots with me. You win a raffle, you get to take some shots. <laughs> with me. But uh, but it's be cool, man. You can meet some cool people off there. So, okay, and that uh, to register, you go on to myinvestmentclub.com/slash meetup. So make sure you register, guys. Yep. And we're gonna throw some good uh, freebies out there when you get there. Nice swag stuff. But okay. Oh man, what can we say about today, Alex? We 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 fucking nailed it, man. I, so today's topic is actually one that hit home today for us. So we actually, I was up a bunch of money. We were up a bunch of money, um, and we said, "Well, what's a good topic? How to how to take a loss? How to recover from a loss?" And so this is before we lost. <laughs> yeah. So I was up. It's a ironic. Bunch of money. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm still green for the day, but uh, I gave back all my profits on Sidu, S-I-D-U. So yeah. let's bring that up, man. Let's we'll talk about that. This is really stupid. Um, what I did was I – let me let me go to the chat room, and I'll show you what we uh, – yeah, sneak peek of MIC. I'll bring up that chart. Hopefully, you'll see it. So we're pretty transparent here at MIC, guys. You know, fuck, man. So this is the morning before zombie hour, okay? Nailed it, man. I mean, fuck, I shorted all the fucking tops, covered all the way down. I had a decent-sized position. I got really fucking greedy, man. I mean, I was up so much. My average is so fucking good. I was like, okay, this is going to be all day better. Look at this. Yeah, it yeah. topped out here. It went under VWAP. So this is technically Broke support, side. yeah. And then, you know, this is the standard VWAP rejection reclaim, right? That we always do, and I'm because yeah. I because we're greedy at this point, Alex. I'm like, fuck, I need more size, I need more size. I cover too much, right? Yeah. You know, that's what we do, right? We make our money, we fucking leave. But today, for some reason, we got really fucking greedy. Yeah, and it's so, true, bro. And and the thing is, like, it's, I was telling the people in the room today that's very odd and irrational that a stock breaks low of the day and then comes all the way back and breaks high of the day. Like, we say that trading is pretty much with our strategy, ninety percent win rate. And everyone always asks, what's that 10%? What's that 10%? And this is an example of that 10% where it was irrational. It didn't follow the normal pattern. And, you know, we took a loss on it. So nine times out of 10, we're going to make money. But this one time that it doesn't follow the pattern, that's where we, you know, we use risk management and try to protect ourselves. Yep. So what I did was I was up a bunch. And so I, I fell to the classic, all of the things that normal traders, regular traders fucking do. It's a mental issue. It's like... I'm up so fucking much. I don't think, okay, I'm going to give back some. So I was actually covering right here, guys. You see, I, I was like, fuck, man. I, I started to give up, and I didn't lose that much here. I was still up a bunch if I had covered there. But then the problem was all of a sudden it spiked up. And the moment it spiked up, I was like, fuck. So I, I took the, I covered it, you know. So I gave back pretty much all my profits on the stock. 
And now, of course, when you cover it, it went down. So, I mean, it's not, it didn't go down that much. 10 cents underneath what I covered, yeah. 15 cents. But the point is, you know what, man? We broke all the fucking rules. We, we, you know, the zombie rule is there for a reason. And what happens is this. Once the stock, re the first time it goes under backside, you know, a good strategy, a high probability strategy is to short the VWAP rejection, which I did very well here. Okay? So I fucking loaded up, and then I was like, and I'm happy, man. I mean, I'm, I'm in. I'm holding this thing, hoping for an all-day fader bullshit. But the problem is there was no dilution. There's no shelf. It was, you know, there's no obvious dilution on filings. There's no signs of this thing. I mean, they cleaned it out or something. But uh, but the fact that it zombied and VWAP reclaimed, and it held. It did not VWAP yeah. reject. Notice, this one, we VWAP rejected. Yeah. This one kept on going up that's what i said and oh, right God. at zombie times too right the exact same time that we always say that these stocks tend to reverse yep and so all these indicators should add up to get the fuck out right and so that's so i noticed i spot that but i was not aggressive enough man because what happened is this man this is how they trap you guys it's it's over VWAP. so the first time it did it was a revop rejection so in theory if it rejected it should keep going down yes but it did not it reclaimed and it did not go down. So when it does this move, what you need to do is get the fuck out. Okay? Because it's only a matter of time when it spikes up and everybody panics and short cover. I mean, all the shorts pop out. And that's exactly what happened. So I was very greedy because I'm like, dude, I don't want to, I don't want to cover here, take a loss, uh, you know, on some of but I was still green. You know, I, could, I should have taken a loss and still be very green on it. But I'm like, dude, I, I was so fucking greedy. And that's the, that's the thing with it. Every time it went down, I thought, okay, this is it. Right, Alex? This is it. It rejected the same line. How many times? One, two, three. Three, four times. Yeah. And every time it went back down, I was like, holy shit, this is it. It's going to go down. Boom. It bounced yeah. back up. So when you see this type of pattern, it's over VWAP, and it's during the mid diet, all these are signals for you to either go long or stop out and get the fuck out and protect yourself. And let me ask you a question, Bao. When traders are dealing with high levels of greed what do you think is the best way for people to kind of fight greed and you know control that emotion because i think the biggest thing that people struggle with in trading is greed and fomo and we made thousands of videos on fomo but in these markets when there isn't much meat like what do you think is the best way for traders to you know combat being greedy that that's a very good point the reason we're greedy because there's so many so little opportunity alex right and so we want to capitalize when the opportunity comes but that's that when we do that we actually deviate from our process yeah. right so that's the whole fucking it comes back to the fucking process that made us successful it doesn't fucking matter if it's a bear market giraffe market like we talk about you have to maintain your process yeah. like 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 a like a baseball player right a baseball player he goes on a slump and he's striking out every fucking time. Does he fucking change? I mean, dude, you know, because he, he's he's trying to swing for the fences. Go back to what's made him successful to made him to become a, mate, a major leaguer, right? Uh, so that's what we do, man. We we go back. We should – being a robot, do you think an algo changes it because, you know, there's not less opportunity? No, an algo will execute their setups, their pattern. They are not going to fucking deviate. Yes. We're just fucking greedy. We're just happy because you know, you know, we're we're humans. We're excited the fact that we're up. I'm like, holy fuck, dude! I have a for the first time I have a fucking you know in a long time because the market sucked, right? We have a nice fucking fat position, sure. and we're like, we're gonna bank, we're gonna bank, we're gonna bank, and that's exactly. What and it's almost like every single time we want to do that. Every single time it does the inverse because the last time we covered, it kept going down. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is this, guys. If you keep doing the same process that made you successful, you will continue to be successful. Yeah. We are just too in a hurry to get rich quick. That's yep. the tally. We wanted to, we wanted to get rich quick on one stock, and they we nailed it. And so you know what I'm saying, and that's yeah, it's almost good. a false sense of confidence too. And something very important, guys. When Bao talks about process. You know, when we started at MIC, no one really talked about process, but process basically means what type of routine can you show up and repeat that is going to yield consistent results. So every time we mention process, it pretty much means the routine that we use, whether it be how to find the stocks to trade, you know, reading the filings, put, uh, identifying levels on the chart, stuff like that. All those little things build into your process, right? And that's what we talk about. Our MIC process is ironclad especially with our risk management process. But sometimes, you know, the operator, the human, me, 
Bao or whoever else, you know, short circuits, right? We short circuits sometimes and we fuck up. Yeah, man. So, you know, we all fall in this game. But, you know, man, uh, what separates us, though, Alex, in my opinion, I don't want to fucking say anything like hype us up or whatever. But, guys, you're going to get to the point where you are becoming a consistently profitable trader. And when you fuck up, hopefully it's not going to be as bad as a beginning trader fucking up. Yeah. When, when I fucked up today, all I did was I give, gave back profits. I didn't fucking lose on the stock. I just gave back a lot of profits. And we are pissed. All right, and that's fucking up for us. Fucking up for us is does, does yeah. not necessarily mean blowing up the account. That we are beyond that stage already, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the beginning stages of of becoming a brand new trader, learning MIC process. You need to overcome the blowing up because we already figured out how not to blow up. So when we fuck up, it just means that we're making less money. We're stupid, yes. you know. And the the problem with that though, we have to recognize that's why we are very transparent, right? We, I post this shit because I'm I'm showing the world, I'm showing myself that it's okay to lose. Yeah, I'm not hiding these losses. It's fucking okay to lose because what's gonna happen is this: you imagine if I'm so fucking embarrassed to show a fucking loss, and I always show winners, and then you know then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna revenge trade behind the scenes. Yeah. So you have you have to be able to say I, hey, I fucked up. I mean, yeah. we're not fucking perfect, man. You know how many times I fuck up, but still we do great, you know? Because, you know, yeah. it's only one fucking trade. And then, so what happens is a lot of these guys, what they do is they pretend that it's an algo. They blame it on the internet. They blame it on all sorts of fucking shit, right? Uh, but when the reality is just my fault, man. I got fucking greedy. <laughs> I mean, the moment you say that, I got greedy. So now how do you mitigate for next time? That's the question you had, Alex. Yeah. You go back to you what, what made you successful. So I'm going to tell you something. So zombie rule, fucking porn. I even screamed down the rule, zombie rule. But all of us don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> yeah. we're, we, we're thinking the stock is faking us out. <laughs> Correct. Because yeah. you know why? We want, it, we want to believe what we want to believe. And once again, process, show us that, you know. And, and so go back to your process. So what you do is this, guys. This is what I do. You take your fucking gains, but you hold some. Okay, that's how you mitigate your fucking greed. Okay, don't cover all. Co cover most, but hold a little bit because you can always add back. The problem before is if you, if you cover everything, you take everything off, and then it tanks on you, and you're like, fuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So the greed comes in. We want to mat. We The greed comes in like, no, I'm, I'm not happy until I get ginormous size and, and get the maximum profit. <laughs> you know, we, we we want all or nothing, and that's the problem, guys. You have to create a system where you you can't have to have all or nothing. I mean, yeah. it's it's okay, okay. So a lot of system traders do exactly what we do, right? Alex? What they do is they hold the fucking big ass position, they enter one time and they stop out, and they're okay with it because that's their system. So we have so what we what what I did today was exactly what a system trader would do. Once it breaks the high day, I get the fuck out. Okay, and then hey, if that's the top and it drops, oh, so be it because that's their system, and they stick to their system. But that's not my system. My system has got these fucking gains along the fucking way. I can't keep keep holding a giant position because I'm not a system trader, right? I, I I am the guy that holds some and been locking up the other half, trading around my core. You know, everybody, you know, everybody has their system that's been working for for, for them. And this is a lesson too, Bows, because. You know, uh, having a process is the most important part of trading. And a lot of people in the last two years, they didn't have a process. They were just gambling. And they just kept gambling and gambling and gambling. And now they're losing money. But, you know, what differentiates us is we actually have a process that works, that's been working. And all we have to do is stick to it. The worst problem that you could have as a trader is not knowing what you did wrong. We knew exactly what we did wrong, bro. And it's something that we could fix, right? Yep. Whereas other people, they don't know what they're doing wrong. They have no idea what to fix because everything was random in the first place. Yep. And they don't want to admit to themselves as they are learning, as they're progressing, that, you know, they did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and so you, 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 if you figure out what you did wrong, then, you know, the, 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 the whole thing comes to the ego, man. The ego, the greed, uh, the arrogance to think that, hey, man, you know, it's not my fault. It's just a one-off thing. But, you know, we've been so experienced to the point where this is where the process like you come in to play, right? Process is about repeatability, being able to do the same fucking shit over and over and over, man. Why the fuck am I deviating? Because I'm fucking greedy. It's yeah. like it's like going to play blackjack and you're supposed to double down on every single blackjack hand. And once in a while you don't double down. And then the ones that you don't double down is the one you win. <laughs> it's usually how it works.
<laughs> right? And so you have, if you know, you have to be consistent. So the process is about being consistent. Okay. If you want to change your process, change your entire process, but don't just deviate, you know, and you know, the worst time is like, dude, all the writing was on the wall. Acts. We even said that, right. Zombie yeah. rule, all this shit. So, yeah. but, but the, po the, you know, you always have to take the positive and the negative, right? So the positive side is, Hey, we didn't blow up. I just gave back all my fucking winnings, which sucks. Yeah. You know, the money doesn't really matter. It's the fact that I'm still so stupid. Yeah. We work so hard, right. To nail this thing. And then, and then how can we boggle it? Right. It fucking just sucks. Like going to the grocery store and fucking dropping the milk on the ground. Now you have fucking no milk. <laughs> you <tell> yeah. <laughs> and the craziest part is bro. Tomorrow we're probably going to even forget what we traded today. You know? Yep. And so, uh, you know, I, I, the best way guys is to, and make you a lot of guys don't ever show a loss on Twitter, things like that. That's why that's why they fucking continue to fucking lose, guys. So uh the way to mitigate is once again, you know, we my our process take some hold the core, take some off, and then when when zombie hour and they reclaim, gotta get the fuck out. You are short. Basic rules are very simple. If it reclaims again and it holds a reclaim over VWAP during during midday, get the fuck out. Yeah. And then the ultimate, which, you know, one positive takeaway is I stopped out, man. I, uh, it went over the pre-market high. And so I, I did stop out. If this thing had went to $10, I would look like a fucking genius. Yeah. 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 So, but the thing is this, I always say this, man. What I lost today was very minimal. But the next time, if I choose not to stop out, it goes 10 bucks. I may blow It'll up. be the maximum loss. That's the problem. That, that's the thing, man. So keep to good habits. And that's how you win over time, guys. You know, uh, we always say like when you break a rule, you always win the minimum. But yeah. when you break a rule and you lose, you lose the maximum, guys. So keep to good habits. It doesn't fucking matter. It's in one fucking trade. And you know what, man? Like I said, man, if it went to 10 bucks, me and Al just sitting here like, oh, we're the fucking best traders in the world. We fucking stopped out. And we always have a max day loss too, guys. So, I mean, I was protected either way. Um, you know, I have multiple layers. Of and if you guys don't have a max loss, it's very simple. Call your broker, email your broker, and set your max loss to no more than one day's worth of work. So if you make $100 a day trading, set your max loss auto liquidation to 100. That way, on your worst day ever, you will only lose $100. Yep. I do, for myself, I do two days, so a little more aggressive. But, you know, you can do one day, whatever it takes, guys. But the fact is you need to have a fucking safety net. And this is the thing that we talked about, how to properly take a loss, guys. There's time based, so I'll, I'll review it real quickly, how to properly take a loss. I, there's videos I made on this already, but time based, okay? Zombie hour, okay? That's one way. And I'm giving you the, 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 the ways that, work that are not obvious for people because people usually stop out on price, right um and so but they don't think about there's more factors than just price mm -hmm. there's time there is uh new information that comes out yes. there's you know there's uh time is very important there's a couple of things about time okay not just the 10 30 rule 2 30 rule 3 30 rule things like that it's the fact that this thing's been stick it's been hanging around for a long time it should have fucking tanked exactly why did not fucking tank, right? If you fucking get into a fucking fight with Mike Tyson, you punch him with your best shot, and the guy won't go down, you're like, what the fuck is going on? You better get out before you fucking decide yeah, to whoop your ass. Before he starts to fuck you up. <laughs> yep, yep. So that's the thing that people don't understand, guys. Part of it is you have to give yourself a, a time for it to happen, okay? You can't just say, well, I'm just going to hang around until it fucking happens. Well, it depends on your strategy, but put a stop in, put a stop in, put a stop it so yep. any other thing any other topics guys that's it guys i mean remember to register for the meetup my investment.com oh, talk meetup. about how they do the max day loss all liquidation some brokers don't have it a success trader has it so go to success trader guys success trader.com uh mention the mic to them uh we have the mic route we have auto loss we told them how to set everything up guys and so it's a when you join we you know you they set up your account for you the way that they set our account yep. so you you imagine you get into a merit trade and you're just a newbie but when you get into success trader you you have a professional setup account that mimics alex and i's account correct cool guys we'll see you at the meetup see you online see you at the meetup guys all right bye